One of the hardest parts when I first started losing weight was in between meals because I'd start getting really hungry, but it wouldn't be time to eat yet. So I wanna share my top 10 weight loss snacks from Walmart with you guys because I learned if I wanted to stay on track, it was really important that I keep tasty low-cal options on hand to help tide me over until the next meal and not need to go overboard and still stay in a deficit to get results. And doing this, setting myself up for success like that, helped me lose 130 pounds and I've kept it off for over nine years. Honey. Number one. Watermelon. This is my go-to when I want to feel full because I'm really hungry, but I don't really want to use up a lot of calories. Watermelon is the one. It's really high in fiber and it's only 46 calories for one cup. So I can eat a ton of it, get full without going into a surplus. I can stay in a deficit and keep meeting all my goals. Kyle and I have been buying it like every week because we're trying to stay lean for summer right now. And I've been really hungry and watermelon has been like my go-to snack to get full and it's also tasty. Number two, Baby carrots and dip. Three ounces of baby carrots is only 35 calories. And then I love the GV Light Ranch dip to go with it. Two tablespoons is only 60 cals. I love carrots because they're like really crunchy, got fiber in them. Also, baby carrots, you don't have to peel them, you don't have to cut them. I'm hungry, I just weigh out my carrots, pour out my dip, portable snack. Sometimes we take it on the go on our travels. It's such an easy, tasty snack. And again, I can eat a ton of it without going in a surplus. Number three. This one is so versatile. Kobasa cheese and crackers. Sometimes we eat these like for lunch in a bento box. And then other times we eat it for a snack. It's like super versatile, super portable and travel friendly, which is also why I love it. We love the Brandt Turkey Kobasa from Walmart, obviously. 55 grams is 60 cals. You get quite a decent serving. And then the crackers that we love are either the vegetable thins, like the 40% less fat, 30 grams is 130 calories, or we like the wheat thins and 30 grams is 140 calories. Those are so good because like, you get quite a bit of crackers to go with your kielbasa. And then we love the cheese slices because they're so easy and portion control already because you just pull a slice. And we like either the GV marble or the cheddar. And one slice is 80 cows for either one. And I love taking a pizza cutter and I just like slice it into like six or eight little slices and then eat it with the crackers and kielbasa and stuff. And it's like super tasty. Portion controls how I lost my weight. And all of these snacks are really easy to like portion out, take on the go, no excuses. Number four, graham crackers with peanut butter and jam. I love graham crackers because they're low in calorie and you get quite a bit. So the GV graham crackers, two whole sheets of graham crackers is 130 calories. And then what I love is we pair it with like light peanut butter. So the GV peanut butter, one tablespoon is 80 calories. And then we like the low cal jam and we love the Dora 25 calorie strawberry jam. If you do pick Dora, be careful because there is some that are 50 cals. We always like the 25 cal one. So just check the label. You could do, like regular peanut butter, but it's 10 extra calories. So by getting the light, I still get the peanut butter and I save 10 calories. And it's again, such a great snack. Number five, protein granola bars. Our favorite is the Nature Valley granola bar because like they have like super tasty flavors. The peanut butter dark chocolate one is 180 calories and nine grams of protein. What I love about like protein granola bars is they're so easy to just toss in my purse or in a lunch pail or a cooler. We use these literally like I take them for lunch, but when we're traveling or going for errands, especially road trips, cause Kyle and I love them, 
these are so great. They have enough protein and protein helps you feel fuller longer because it lowers your hunger hormone ghrelin. And that's really important because it's normal to be hungry when you're eating in a calorie deficit to lose weight. So having something like a tasty granola bar mixed with protein and like the granola bar often has fiber in it. It's a perfect combo for on the go, no excuse, something tasty and filling. All of our social media right now, I hear people saying like, hey, if you wanna lose weight, get rid of snacks, stop snacking, just eat properly. Well, that doesn't work for everybody. Like for me, having snacks like these and eating snacks was what helped me get and keep the weight off. Because any time that I would deny myself a snack if I was hungry, I would just end up eating more. And then I would feel guilty, it would trigger my emotional eating, and I would just eat more and more and more and go off track. So I learned having a couple of snacks every day really helped me, especially when I put them in my trouble spots, like when I was really hungry during the day or at night where I often had trouble with late night eating. And I found spreading my food out. So I did three larger meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and two snacks. And I spread them about two to four hours apart. It helped me feel more level. I wasn't starving all the time. And that really helped me not overeat all the time. I'm not sponsored by Walmart. We just love it because you can go get really tasty locale options on a budget. And Kyle and I are on a budget and we need to go like to a grocery store and just be able to get something for a decent price. Number six, baked chips. This is so great that they're back, the Lay's baked chips, because we ate these like all at the beginning of our weight loss, but then they, they went away from Canada and they just came back. And there are two flavors. There's a, like the plain, the original, and then the barbecue. 50 grams of the barbecue, 210 calories. 50 grams of the regular, 210 cows. You get quite a decent serving. And again, I lost my weight with portion control. So if you wanna know more of the exact meals and portions that I ate to lose the weight, you could buy my weight loss ebook called The First 50. The link's down below and code Nicole will save you 10% off. And if you're looking for a good protein and you want a great summer flavor, but also just a great flavor, this is HTLT Sup's The S'mores Protein. Oh my gosh, if you love s'mores or you just love chocolate, this is the bee's knees. I love right now putting it in my protein ice cream, which I show on the channel all the time. And I top it, obviously, with the GV like graham crackers, um, some marshmallows, mini marshmallows, and then milk chocolate chips. Perfect s'more snack. Sometimes I put it in Greek yogurt too and make a great low-cal high protein fruit dip. Code Nicole will save you 15% off and the link is down below and they have a ton of other like really good flavors too. Number seven, rice cakes. For some reason, they're called Quaker Crispy Minis, but they're not mini. They're like a regular size rice cake. Our favorite are the white cheddar and one rice cake is 45 calories. And the other one is the caramel chocolate chip and it's 60 calories for one rice cake. Again, we're always going after, like Kyle and I like getting maximum results for minimal effort. So we're looking for snacks that are really easy and portable. You just put them on your plate and eat them or throw them in a bag and take them on the go. Rice cakes, like we literally took them everywhere. Like don't tell anyone, but we even took them to the movies, like in my purse, because they were such a great like locale snack. Tasty, you can eat a lot of them and kind of taste like you're eating cool popcorn, but lower calorie. And speaking of popcorn, number eight is popcorn. <laughs> um, the We sometimes get this Smart Pop from Walmart, but um, we really love the GV, the Great Value Popcorn Seeds because they're even lower calorie and then you can just flavor it yourself with the kernel seasoning. 50 grams of unpopped kernels equals about eight cups popped and it's about 170 calories. And then we top it with like the kernel seasoning, sometimes a little bit of cooking spray. I'm showing the white cheddar here. And the, the funny thing is like on the back of all the kernel seasonings, it does say zero calories for like a third teaspoon, but even when something says zero calories, like all food has calories, it's just that companies don't have to put 
that there is anything if it's under like five calories. So I always account for five calories if it says zero, just so that I'm not going in a surplus without realizing it. I always make sure even if it says zero, I know there are cows in it. And I just, I'm just measure it out and be, you know, gentle on how much I put. White cheddar is one of our favorites. We also like ketchup because we love ketchup chips because we're Canadian. Number nine, this will change your life. It changed ours. It's the jello cups and the pudding cups that you find in the refrigerated section. When we found these, like, cause Kyle's lost the same amount of weight as me and kept it off for the same amount of time. We were like, oh my gosh, we just found a treat that we can have that's low calorie that we can actually eat more than one of because they're so tasty and low calorie. We can eat dessert and lose weight. Like this is crazy. That was one of the first times in my life when we found the Jello and Cool Whip dessert that I actually thought I could do a diet longer than a day or two. Yeah, it was the same with like the popcorn too, but like this one was like, whoa, because the, the Jello cups, they come in two flavors, strawberry and lime, and they're only five calories a cup. The lime says five cows a cup on the front and on the back it says four calories, but that just recently changed because it's always been five calories since we started. So um, don't get like too stuck on it, just five calories a cup. Um, five calories for one, which means we could have, it comes in a pack of four, we could have the whole pack of four. For people that need to eat a lot, like Kyle and I that have big appetites, that was huge. And we like to top it with like Cool Whip or whipped cream, we are showing the canned light whipped cream here because it doesn't look like they carry the fat-free Cool Whip anymore. So four tablespoons of light whipped cream is 30 calories and it's beautiful. We just put that on there with the Jello. Sometimes we do two straw and two lime because we like to mix it up. And then the pudding cups, they're only 50 calories a cup and they have two flavors, rich milk chocolate and Dolce de Leche, 50 cows a cup, and then we top it with the whipped cream. It's like dessert. It's a beautiful snack. What? You can eat that in diet? You got it. You got it. <laughs> Numero 10, fudge bars. I am a chocolate lover, and I love ice cream and ice cream bars. Tried to give them up when I lost weight. Didn't work. I would just end up eating more of them. Then I realized, hey, if you check the label, you can find ones like this. The Fudgesicle one, like the um, original Fudge Bar Fudgesicle brand, 80 calories for one. What? I can eat like two or three and still stay in a calorie deficit. The other one that we're showing is a Chapman's Frozen Yogurt Bar. It's vanilla and milk chocolate, and it's 90 calories a bar. So basically, I, and if you love fudge bars or any sort of like frozen bar like that, look around, find the lowest calorie one. You'll be surprised at what you can find if you check the labels and still stay in a calorie deficit. Like Kyle and I still get shocked when we go into the store and go, no, there's no way we can eat that on a regular day and stay in a deficit. And then we'll check the labels and we'll go, no, we actually can. Weight loss should never be a punishment. If you like snacks or you get hungry in between meals, it's calories in, calories out. In order to lose weight, you need to be in a deficit. So it doesn't matter what or what time you eat, you just have to be eating less. If you like snacks, find ones that you love that are gonna help you stay on track and help you feel full and tie you over in between meals. You can do it. And Kyle and I are proof of that. And that's actually why we've been able to keep the weight off as long as we have, because we don't deny ourselves. We just find things that we enjoy that help us stay in a deficit so we can meet our goals all the time. So watch this vid and this vid for more fun, sustainable weight loss tips, because Sass and I are real friends, losing weight in the real world. And we eat fudge bars, and we eat jello and pudding cups, and popcorn, and just love the whole life, honey. So thanks for watching. Oh, catch you in the next vid, cutie. Peace it, peace it. Now watch this mind trick. I'm gonna pull myself by a rope. Whoa. Now I'll come the other way. Pretty good. Were you pro at this? I'm getting there. <laughs> watch this, I'll come forward now. I can't believe I'm realistic. I know. <laughs>
Okay, it's my bedtime now. <laughs> Even though it's the middle of the day. Nap time. Bye! See ya. Smile away like a bird! <laughs> Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up. <laughs>